Welcome back everybody to Synalytics Crypto. My name is Mike. Thank you for joining me here today on the channel. I appreciate you guys. We're going to talk about my next altcoin gem, you guys. I know in the Telegram, you guys are always talking about those altcoin gems. Listen, I'm not going to be doing that stuff all the time, you guys, because there's only so many gems that I can actually take my time to investigate. And also, I only have so many funds to go around to invest in these gems. So we're going to talk about that in a second, you guys. But um, we're also going to be talking about some news, probably in another video, because I don't want to kind of combine news and altcoin gem videos. But uh you guys, let's just talk about what's going on in the market right now before we get to this next altcoin gem. It's looking pretty good. There is so much competing news for, you know, are we in a bear market? Are we in a bull market? Are we going to go down? Is there a crash coming? All these things like that. Look, with the stimulus in play right now and with all of the big news that we'll talk about in the next video, there's some good things happening, you guys. Um, I see the cryptocurrency market as very, very healthy. Don't get shaken out of the market, you guys. Don't um, investigate too much of your time in just one piece of news because there's just so much. Follow the trail, follow the big money, and everything is going to be looking pretty good here for a little bit of time. I don't think we're going to have a major pullback in the market for a while, but of course we could at any time. So uh, don't hold your breath. This is crypto. Uh, it goes up and it goes down and then it goes sideways. So the top 10, you guys, are looking pretty good. I will say this. Keep your eye on Chainlink. Keep your eye, keep both eyes on Chainlink. I think Chainlink's about to do some things. But enough of that. Let's talk about the gem. That's what you guys want to hear about. By the way, if you have not liked and subscribed already, please do so. Give a thumbs up to this video so it gets more attention and it gets out there um, because we like our gems to do well. So we want more people to find out about these gems so that they become something that is worthwhile, especially if you do invest in these gems. Now, I will preface this by saying, as I always do, I am not a financial advisor. I am not your financial advisor. I am only my own financial advisor, but these are just my opinions. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. So please don't go out and just buy something because I'm investigating it or because I have bought it myself. Do your own research. This will not be a deep dive, but we are gonna explore this. It's um, a little tough to navigate, so uh, I'm not going to uh, get too deep into this, but let's just look at it together. So my next altcoin gem is Moonswap. Please like and comment below if you know anything about this particular project, because it is relatively unknown. Um, but I think they're going to do some big things here, you guys. I really do. So let's look at it. We're at $1.04. I think the all-time high was reached earlier today at about $1.29, but there's been since a little bit of pullback because that's what happens. People pump into these low-cap altcoin gems and then they take profits and they're smart for doing that. So good on you if you've already made some profits on this. I did invest in Moonswap, um, but I'm also not really looking to just kind of... Um, make quick money. I think Moonswap is eventually going to become more recognized. They're doing so many things that I don't even really know. Uh, the, the, I'm not having even scratch the surface on this project. I just, I invested in it and now I'm going to do more research and find out if I want to invest more. I do like that there's been a little bit of a pullback today, so that is good. So let's look at the 24 hour trading volume. It's only got half a million dollars. So <clears throat> in these projects, this market cap's only $10 million. Um, Volume can really, really, really move a project like this. All it takes is for someone to come in and wail or ape into this project, and before you know it, it's going to blast off. A $10 million market cap in crypto right now, especially during a bull run, is is nothing. It's it's It doesn't take much to move a project like this. So there are a few things. Yeah, there there it is. The 24-hour uh, all-time high was buck twenty nine. There are a few things I like about this. Number one, the circulating supply is more than half distributed, so that is good. We're not looking at a project that has got a 10% allocation out to the public. I don't know anything about the distribution of this, so again, I always urge people to do your own research on this kind of stuff, but I just, I like what I see, so I took a little bit of a punt on this, and so I wanna bring it to the surface with you guys so we can share information, so we can talk about it. Also, um, in the Telegram group, it'd be really, really good. Uh, Telegram group is doing really great. I appreciate all of you guys being um, real and being invested in your time with this. Um, please try to keep the shilling to a minimum, you guys. We're not here to shill junk projects. I just I don't want to see that on the Telegram channel at all. Let's talk about things that actually have relevance in the cryptocurrency market. Couple things here about Moonswap. This right here is another thing I like. It's not on any major exchanges yet, except for obviously Uniswap, but 
Um, and you know, Hotbit's a decent exchange, but most of the action is on Uniswap. And I know Uniswap's hard to use right now, guys, because the, the fees are high, but that's all gonna change here really soon. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, but it's just a matter of time if Moonswap, or when hopefully Moonswap gets listed to a higher exchange, of course it takes some volume to do that. So that's why I like to get in early. It is, listen, listen it is risky to invest in projects just like this one. I have to tell you that. This isn't something that you're gonna buy and just, oh, it's gonna work out perfectly. This is a high risk asset. So please know that before you go any further into this video. And also you guys, I wanna say, you know, a lot of people are thanking me for showing them certain projects and you know, they, they get into these projects and they go up. Listen, it's a bull market right now. You, anything or anything at all can go up in a bull market. So I am not a genius by any means, I just, happen to see projects that I like and so I put a little bit of money just to see what they're like. Now, my personal strategy with this would be to at least when this does or if it does go up to take out my initial investment. Because at that point, you guys, I'm not I'm no longer in the risk category. You kind of can't lose when you haven't when when you take out your initial investment. Let's uh, let's just let's just use round numbers for an example, okay? Um Let's say you put $100 into Moonswap, right? Let's say it goes up a little bit and you're now in the profit. Maybe on a high risk asset like this, you take your initial profit off the table. Now you're playing with house money. If it goes to zero, no worries, you haven't lost a darn thing. If it goes to the moon, especially something like Moonswap, you're doing pretty good. So um, that's just a strategy that I use. So I like to share that with you guys just because uh, this is one of the more higher risk assets that I've been looking at and that I've invested in my own money, especially bringing it uh, to light in the channel. I really want to exercise caution because I just I don't want to steer anybody the wrong way. So, okay, I've blabbed on enough about that. You know the warnings, you know the risks involved. Let's go check out what Uniswap, or I'm sorry, what Moonswap is. Um, so it's a next generation protocol for DEX, high speed and zero gas. Now I have not used the uh, protocol here and I'm not sure if I'm going to because it's it's pretty complex um, although if you took the time to really investigate what this is there's there's a lot of options with this particular DEX I haven't seen anything like this really which is why I, I actually like this project I feel like I'm in early I like to get in early because that's where the big gains are made it's high risk but it's also high reward so um, do they really have zero gas fees I don't know haven't used it um, but their total liquidity is reaching towards 18 million. Not a whole ton, but it's not like, you know, there's just a couple of dollars invested in this. This, this is growing. And that's what you want to see when you invest in something like this. Saved on gas. So they're claiming that $12 million roughly has been saved on gas fees. That's cool. Uh, if you know anything about that, please let me know. If anyone's used this protocol, please also enlighten us. We like to share information on this channel and I love interacting with you guys in the comments. So um, it's supposed to be really fast too, apparently. So. I'm not going to launch the app or anything because I'm not planning on using it, but it says zero gas, high speed, Ethereum layer two solution. Okay, so it's supported by CoinFlex network and cross chain asset protocol shuttle flow. I've never heard of shuttle flow. I've heard of CoinFlex, don't know really anything about it, but um, let's explore a little bit. So it is an exchange. And if you see this little part right here, if you're familiar with um, Uniswap, it looks like this is very, very, very familiar. Uh, in fact, it almost looks exactly the same like it was a copy and paste of Uniswap. So uh, obviously, I guess a lot of protocols are copying off things that have success. So you connect to a wallet and I'm sure it's, you know, you can connect with MetaMask or whatever other wallet you're going to use. But um, yeah, this is exactly the same platform as it would if you were using Uniswap. So let's go to the wallet real quick. Um, obviously, I don't have anything on here. You can see that. But um, there's CoinFlux assets that are on here. I'm sure they're probably gonna be adding more uh, all the time because that's what happens when a project wants to grow. They wanna add the ability for people to use an incentive to use in a wide range of projects to be involved with. Uh, there's some staking. Now, it, this is where it gets pretty complicated because I don't, I don't quite understand any of this. Um, Farms, there's farming involved. Um, you connect your wallet. There's some pretty high APYs right here, you guys. I, I, like I said, I don't really know. As I continue to get from more familiar with this, if I decide to go this route, I will definitely share this information with you. Um, it looks like they have a lot of staking options and you can, can, you can get X moon tokens and C moon tokens. And I mean, it gets pretty complicated, but let's just read this down here. You will obtain staking vault 
income by holding X Moon. X Moon can be generated by staking C Moon. The staked C Moon and staking Vault income can be redeemed after X Moon is converted to C Moon. It's already sounding pretty confusing, but it sounds like if you figure out how to do this right, you can earn a lot of free stuff. That's what it sounds like to me. The staking vault finds funds continue to grow and dividend every 1,400, 14,000 blocks, whatever, every two hours. And the amount of the total dividend is issued every two hours, 184th of the C moon of the staking vault income. The dividend is distributed among users based on their proportion of X moon holdings. When X moon is converted to C moon can be harvested freely after seven day consensus period. Yeah, pretty, um, pretty interesting. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know exactly what's going on here, but I just have a feeling about this project. Now, what really I see and what really kind of piqued my interest is this whole NFT thing that they have going on. There's these NFT cards that people are doing stuff with. There's the cost of whatever it is to buy this particular uh, NFT and the list kind of goes on. There's pages and pages and pages of this stuff, you guys. Um, I don't know what Con Dragon, uh, the first D5 plus NFT plus RPG game on Conflux. So it looks like they have all kinds of just stuff you can get involved in. So this is kind of um, this is kind of nerd territory here, you guys. So uh, I, I'm not a nerd, but I, I I'm a big dork. And so uh, I used to be involved in some pretty dorky things in my younger years, you know, card games and stuff like that. I've kind of grown out of that, but this is the kind of thing that I feel like is going to attract a lot of people that are into this kind of stuff. So once you get onto this, it gets pretty intricate. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you can do involving NFTs. And so when I see that, I, I think, okay, with the current hype and current craze in NFTs, who knows? get in early on a project like this, you could be very happy about it. So like I said, my advice and my exact strategy with this is to get my initial investment back and just kind of let the, the rest ride and, and maybe sort of forget about it. I, I'm really not planning on deep diving and, and getting into this NFT stuff. That's, that's, not, that's not what I do, that's not what I'm good at. I like to invest in the protocols and into the projects that produce this kind of stuff because I don't have time to get involved with, the, with NFT trading, at least not on this level. I'll be looking hard into when an NFL version of NBA Top Shots comes out. Hopefully they'll do something like that. I think they will because it's been very, very successful. Now that's when I'll probably dork out, geek out, and nerd out on, on all that stuff because I love NFL and that's something I actually know and understand. I don't want to get involved in things that I don't know and understand because you can find yourself in a pretty weird spot. Uh, they've got a game here, Moon Gaming. They've got new games that are going to be coming out. Uh, if anyone knows about this stuff, please let us know because I would like to know. Uh, they've got a DAP. They've, okay, whatever that may be. They've got an app. Next generation protocol for DEX, high speed and zero gas fees. Uh, you know, they're, they're ticking a lot of uh, boxes. They're involved in NFTs. Um, it is an exchange. So one of the reasons I kind of sort of got involved in investing in this is because I'm wondering, is there going to be something like a um, airdrop coming? I haven't investigated this. I haven't heard anything about that. But a lot of times these exchanges, in other words, when, once they get enough money behind them and they start to do some advertising, what they'll do is they'll basically start coming out and saying, hey, we're going to airdrop you, whether it be some free tokens or whether it be um, maybe some of the tokens that they carry on their wallet and their exchange. I don't know. But if that's the case, if that ever does come about, then I've just made myself some free money simply for holding a project that hopefully I get to the point to where I am invested in a, in a place where if it goes to zero, Okay, I wasted a little bit of time. If it goes to the moon, I've made some money. Then I can take some of that money and go into some better projects that I like and that I think have long term. You know, your ADAs, your um, your Litecoins, obviously your Bitcoin, even you know your Ethereum and stuff like that. Uh, especially Chainlink. I think Chainlink's about to do some things, guys. But anyways, I just wanted to bring this to the surface and maybe if this continues to do well and if it continues to pique my interest, I will do a deeper dive. I just simply wanted to bring it to the limelight for the Synalytics crypto channel, for the people who follow me. Um, please, you guys, don't invest in this just because I I uncovered it. Please do some research because this could be a project that totally goes to zero. I don't really see that happening. I honestly feel like there's some good things coming. Like I've said before already, probably about four or five times in this video. Um, but I think that's it for now. Moon swap, moon swap. 
Uh, you know, the first time I even heard about Moon Swap was because I do follow some of the things that Coach K says. I really like Coach K. I really like his channel. Um, go check him out if you're into smaller projects, if you're into the NFT space. This guy is literally a NFT guru. He's also, and the, where I found him was on Crypto Banter. I uh, like that channel as well too. They talk about a lot of things. That channel is actually doing some big things. So go check out Crypto Banter. Go check out Coach K. Uh, I am certainly not the kind of person who wants you to just focus on what Synalytics Crypto is saying because how did I even get here to, to the point of, of creating a channel? It's because I look at other people's channels. That's how I found out about cryptocurrency was looking at YouTube, going through things, pouring through the comment section, pouring and, and taking different videos and, and cross um, checking everything that people are saying. A lot of times, if uh, a lot of people are kind of saying the same things, then you know that there's some momentum behind the things that they're saying. But you definitely have to do your research as well because you don't just want to take someone's advice and simply go buy something because so-and-so said so. Um, but that's how I came across this particular project and I will continue to search into these kinds of things. I'm not gonna be bringing you guys projects that I haven't invested my own money in. So just know that and that's another reason why I'm limited in how many of these gems I can put out because um, yes, as I do find them, I, I do like to let you guys know, B Pro has worked out really, really, really well. Uh, I made a video basically as soon as I went into it and the price literally exploded, so that was great. Um, but it's easy to get addicted to those kinds of gains and expect that from everything you put your money into, especially if you're new, you feel like you throw your money at something and you can't lose. Look, that's not reality. You just, you gotta be really, really careful. But uh, B Pro has been great. I think there's been a fat pullback. Well, I know, because I watched it happen. It went from four and a half cents all the way back down to two point whatever um, but B pro is gonna be really good so these gems can really work out you guys if you play them correctly always take profits when you get the chance to always try to minimize your risk and really you're gonna be in a good position to grow your portfolio also I will say this don't get married to a particular project that happened with me when I first got into cryptocurrency in uh, late 2016 and then into 2017 I started discovering altcoins and I would get into a particular altcoin and I would just fall so in love with it that I wouldn't be able to part with it and expand my horizon. So I made a lot of mistakes that way and uh, I think any of you who've been around have also probably done the same thing. It's easy to fall in love with a project and not want to take profits because you see more profits on the table but really essentially in a market like this in, a, in, a, in the conditions in which that we're operating, it's if you're making money and you're, you're taking profits and you're investing them in other projects, you're doing well and you're not limiting yourself to just one or two or three or even four or five projects. Uh, you're spread out across platforms and you're spread out, hopefully you're spread out again uh, amongst platforms because you never want to have all your eggs in one basket. Now that means two different things. You don't ever want to have all, I've never gone all in on one particular project. I never ever will do that. If I ever was to do that, it would be Bitcoin. I mean, eventually as things die down and some of these um, projects end up dying out because that, that will happen, they can't all last forever. Uh, Bitcoin would be the only thing that I would ever, ever go all in on. Also, with all of the hacks and all the attacks that we see happening, it's it's good to have multiple um, platforms from which to invest in, i.e. your Coinbase's, your Binance's, um, your Uniswaps, you know, whatever, KuCoin, whatever it is that you're using, you, you want to be kind of uh, spread out a little bit. So if something does happen, and it's unfortunate when it does, but you're not losing everything that you worked so hard to gain. So that's about it, guys. I've rambled on long enough. I like what I'm seeing. Things are looking great. Um, please comment below and let me know what you think about this particular video. And I will see you guys all in Telegram because I'm about to go post this once it goes live so you all know and can see it right away. Have a great day. Thank you very much for joining and happy trading to you all. Peace.